Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In the last video I showed you how to create this amazing long dress out of a curtain but I actually had enough fabric to make a second dress, a necklace and a belt and that's what we are going to do today. This video is the second part of the last video that I'm gonna link here somewhere in case you didn't watch it yet because in this video we are going to go a bit faster because many of the things I explained already in the last video so in case I'm too fast for you I recommend you to watch the last video and then this one and before we go on, so many of you texted me on Instagram Oh, I wish I knew how to sew, this is so cool, I wish I could do this Guys, I have no clue how to sew The only experience I have sewing is my videos If you watch my first video when I did the denim skirt That was my first time ever sewing something So if I could do it, you can do it For this video the only thing you need is the rest of the curtain or a curtain and normal sewing supplies. That's it. So, are you ready? Let's get started. To start off, this is how I folded the fabric in the last video. I folded it once in half and then again in half and I tried to stretch it as much as possible. And then we took a rope with the length that we wanted for the dress and we used it to cut the fabric in a semicircle. This piece here is for the top and this is what we will use to make the second dress. And that's this piece of fabric here that it's actually only the leftovers of the fabric that I used to make this gorgeous dress that you can see here. If you didn't watch the video, I will link it up here because there I explain everything in much more detail. Because in this video I'm going to explain everything really really fast. And now we are going to do exactly the same but just with a shorter dress. So first of all I'm going to take the skirt and the length that I want to use. I want this one to be short so I'm just going to take the shortest spot in this fabric and that is here. Mark that length and put something heavy here to keep the fabric in place. And now I'm just going to make a semicircle all around the fabric with this measure. To make it easier you can also fold the fabric one more time and the radius is going to be much smaller. Now we are going to cut this semicircle that we just drew. Now we are going to take the measure of our waist or the part of the body where you want the skirt to start. We are going to take that measure a bit more and then we are going to fold it in half and then again in half. And this is our measure and we are going to do the same thing. And again I am going to cut. Now we are going to open this and we have two big pieces. I'm going to cut this here. This part is like a string, the same color of the dress, I like it. So I'm going to cut this really close to the edge and I'm not going to throw it because that's going to be the choker. Now we will put the pieces here on the floor and we will take the right side against the right side so we're going to pin one side and the other side and we are going to sew it with the machine when we are done with that we are going to take the bottom of the skirt and this is the wrong side and we are going to take the edge of the skirt and we are going to fold it once, fold it twice and pin it in place again, fold it once Fold it twice and pin it. And we are going to be doing this all around the skirt. One trick that I have when I'm doing this step of folding one, folding twice all around the skirt is when you put the last pin, don't go on right next to it. Just leave some space and then go a bit farther and fold it once, fold it twice. And then when you pull the fabric, this one goes alone in place. Now for the other part of the skirt, and I mean this part here, I'm just going to take the edge of the fabric and sew a zigzag stitch. And I just literally burned the remaining threads that were around there because they were annoying and I didn't know what to do with them. And now we're going to make the top with this corner over here. So I'm going to take two pieces of the fabric, I'm going to cut this edge and that will be the stripes. And now we're going to make a symmetrical triangle out of this. So I'm just going to fold the fabric in half, pin it so it doesn't move and cut the shape that I want. 
And now, of course, we need to make the same with another piece of fabric. So I'm just going to put the fabric there and the cut piece on the top. And I'm going to cut again exactly the same piece. Now we're going to make the top over a black t-shirt. So I'm just going to take the pieces of fabric, place the right side against the right side, and I'm going to pin it in place where I want it to be. This is the wrong side of the fabric, and I'm just going to pinch the fabric like this, making a triangle shape, like when you're fitting a dress, and I'm just going to pin it there from up down, pin the extra fabric like this, So now we have the perfect curve that we need and we're just going to cut it and because we need it two times I'm just going to really cut this and I'm going to place the cut shape over the new one and cut the same twice. You can just do it like that but my fabric is really see through so I have to cut some lining. I'm just going to take a piece of fabric, fold it in half, put the cut piece on it and cut the same shape. No sewing allowance or anything, just exactly the same. And now to put the lining we have to make a sandwich. Right side of the lining up. Right side of this piece, up. The other piece, the wrong side up. And the last piece of lining, the wrong side up. Now we have to align all the layers really, really well and we're just going to sew that curve with the sewing machine. Now we're going to open it and fold the edges. Just fold it one, fold it twice, pin it in place and just go ahead all along the edge. Now we're going to sew this with a normal stitch and when we're done we will do Exactly the same in the other side. Fold it once, fold it twice, fold the corner with it and sew it again. Of course, we have to do the same with the other booby. And once both boobies are done, we are going to try it on. Again, like in the last video, we are going to put them where we want them to be and pin them. And the other one, I'm going to overlap and pin them here together. It looks so weird over this t-shirt, but it's gonna look fine afterwards. And now we just have to mark where we want the skirt to be. You don't see it here, but I'm gonna show you on the table. As you can see, it's really a weird line what we made here. So we're just going to mark it properly. I just made a line here and that's where I want the skirt to start. Now we're going to measure that line. This is 46 centimeters. And now what we're going to do is Take the skirt in half, of course, and we have to make that half of the skirt has the same measure as this. And because we actually sew two parts together, it's really easy to find half. We're just, we're just going to sew from this seam here to this seam here. So, just take the seam and we're going to take a needle. And what we're going to do is pass a needle here, just normal, up, down, up, down all along the edge and once we finish with that all we have to do is pull the thread until we have that measure perfect now we can make a knot you can distribute these ruffles as you like i will leave it like this now we're going to take the right side of the top the right side of the skirt and we're going to put it upside down and we are going to sew this together this is the line that we just sew with the ruffle and I'm just going to put this over the line that we marked before. It's here, my line. We're gonna pin this first. This part is a bit tricky, so I recommend you to sew this by hand first and then we're gonna try it on. Looking good. So, I'm going to sew this line with the machine and then we will do the other half of the skirt. I just sewed this with the machine and we're going to do the back of the skirt. For that, I'm going to take a piece of elastic, really small, like this, and I'm going to sew it here in the edge. Pin this, and then I will sew this here with the machine. And now what I'm going to do is take the edge of the skirt, and I'm going to fold it once, fold it twice, and pin it there, leaving enough space to pass the elastic through it. We are going to sew this line with the machine. Watch out that you left this space open because we need to put the elastic through it. Good! Once you sew this line with the machine, we are going to take our elastic that we've sewn here. Take a safety pin. We are going to put this in here. And now we're going to slide the elastic in there. That's going to be hard because this is a really 
small piece of elastic and this is a really big piece of fabric but we want a lot of ruffles here so that's gonna give it the perfect effect so just slide it in until you get out through the other side there you go good job now we're going to pull the fabric we're going to unpin the elastic and sew the other piece of the elastic here in the other seam and now we can finish sewing this part here nice we are done with the skirt don't worry too much about the seam because we are going to be putting a belt and for the belt we are going to use the top part of the curtain that we cut in the last video basically what we are going to do is unsew the seam from here and just go on and I'm not going to do it all the way I'm just going to leave some part in the middle because this is hard and tight and I like that so I'm basically going to cut to here literally cut there and now I'm going to make stripe with this part here because I'm just basically going to take both edges of this string I'm gonna pin it and I'm going to start sewing the sides together sewing along the edge a zigzag stitch perfect now cut the threads and to make sure this is not going to break I'm just going to burn the tip of the seam that we just made to prevent this from breaking perfect now of course we have to do the same with the other side and we need to do some ironing here so we managed to put this seam in the middle and nobody's going to see so now we just have the straps left so when we cut the fabric I found this really beautiful edge so I'm going to be using this for my stripes I'm just going to take this stripe cut this as close to the edge as I can and now to prevent this edge from breaking we are just going to burn it and just burn a bit all along the edge Ta -da! and we have the perfect stripe and because I want this dress to be as different as possible from the other one I'm going to put these stripes to be tight at the back it's also going to help to push your boobies a bit up and it's gonna look sexier oh yeah Oh yeah. Okay, but first of all, let's do this part here. So this part looks, of course, a bit ugly. So we're just literally going to cut the excess of fabric that we have here. Much better. And to make it more official, I'm going to make a zigzag stitch here. Less is more. But because more is also more, I decided to take one of the seams and transform this into a necklace. How? Just cut the edge as close as you can. And then again, we're just going to burn the edge so it doesn't break and now I'm just going to glue these things to the sides Ta -da! oh my god look at that necklace so nice and now the last thing we have to do is of course sew the stripes to the dress so I'm just going to sew it by hand and that's pretty much it and of course we have to do the same with the other side Ta -da! and we're done are you ready for the grand reveal underneath oh la la this is something else where's my crown there you go oh my god look at this and that's how you turn a three euro curtain into a gorgeous dress volume two so guys that was all for today's video i hope you liked it if you did don't forget to like comment subscribe you know how this works for any question comment or request don't hesitate to hit me up in the comments below or in my instagram nave bathory and if you tried this tutorial don't forget that you can share your creations with me by tagging me in your post with the hashtag nave bathory i love seeing your creations and also texting with you guys and thank you very much for the support i really 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 love it so that was it. See you in the next video. Bye bye. For some reason, I want to dye my hair in pink. Hey guys, welcome back to it. Hello, Rapunzel. And that's how. Bleh, bleh.